Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on this front door decor item that you can have um, put on your shelf and decorate for any season. So we're going to start with some Jenga blocks. Surprisingly, right? <laughs> and we're going to glue 11 um, side to side and then do that twice and then glue those two, two um, I guess, columns together. So you're going to have 22 for the front door. Then I used some basswood that I had and cut it down to, uh, I think it was a quarter inch, no, three eighths of an inch wide to make a frame around the door. Or you can use a Jenga blocks as well, but I just wanted something more thinner to go around the door. Again, I'm going back to the piece of basswood. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is a sixteenth of an inch um, wide or deep, and I'm cutting it at a quarter inch. This is going to be the raised panels on the door, and cut as many as you need um, to do that. This is an extra step that you don't have to do. I, I, I put some does lightweight spackling in the cracks and I'm sanding it down to get, give it a more um, smooth look but if you want it more rustic you, do, you can skip this step now I'm here measuring to see where I want the, the raised panels to be and this is also um, your preference. You could, you don't have to copy the the same exact um, look. I'm using one of the spacers that I cut or the frame pieces that I cut to make a border around where I'm going to be cooling them. I started this door project on John C's channel, Wood If I Could. Um, I'll leave his link down below along with the video where I was working on this. And you can get a lot of tips and tricks on scroll sawing over there and other things too. So check that channel out. One of these days I'm going to get a scroll saw and I'll be more detailed with some of these projects. As always I'm designing as I go. I knew the basic of what I wanted to do so I'm here um, putting the frame on and um, once I do the horizontal pieces I see that it looks a little plain, so I do the reticle pieces on the center. So, like I said, just do it as you want to. I didn't show making this base, but it's six by six, and I made it um, raised with some jingle blocks below. So I just just wrap wrap the area with the jingle blocks and cut it to size if you need to. I was gonna put this up against the back of the um, platform here, but then I decided it it needed some more depth to it than just a little the door panel. So I set it back about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. 
And at this time, I was just planning on, you know, giving it some space back there. But then it, it, it just turns into more and more. I thought in order to, to be able to um, glue the door to the base, it needed some some side walls, I guess. So I cut those out at, at the same uh, inch, inch and a half. And we're gonna glue that to the sides of the door frame and then glue that to the base. I guess I didn't hit record when I was doing the side lights, but I'm using their quarter inch um, square dowels and I just made them about an inch wide. Like, a, But I said, you, you can make them bigger. You don't have to have side lights. So this is just a, um, a jumping point for you to get some inspiration. gonna add some wood glue I'm trying to see which side what side was flatter uh, to make it a nice um seal on the base so that's what I was doing checking to see which part of the door would be going up or down and I'm using the super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree which works perfectly and I'm trying to get the perfect fit here and we just set it up and let it dry to the next, until the next step. Once that is drying, we're gonna get some of this Dollar Tree um, chopping mat. The clear one that has a, the frosted side on one side and shiny on this other. I'm gonna have this frosted side um, facing out. I'm just putting it on for size, but I'm not gonna glue it on until I actually paint it. So I don't wanna get paint on the chopping mat. For the door, I'm using the Waverly Antique Wax because I lo love that, that shade. And then for the framing itself, I'm using the Waverly Ink. Since I'm gonna use the black paint for the framing, the brown paint um, from this wax was gonna be covered up, so I didn't get, be very neat with this. It looks very messy now, but towards the end, it starts getting neater. the little accessories 
um, we're gonna use some super um, super glue here and some neodymium I hope I'm saying that right magnets and I put one on the door itself then I'm going to start doing um, the different wreaths wreaths say that twice real quick so I place the magnet onto the door magnet there add the glue and then add the item that I'm gonna glue to the door so this way this wreath can be removed and another wreath can be added now since all the painting is done I'm gonna be hot gluing the chopping mat to the back of the door and I'm doing this in stages so that the glue doesn't dry up on me Like I said, we're making several different wreaths for, to the, for the front door. They don't have to be wreaths, they can be rounds or squares, depending on what you want, want to hang. And I'm using the Dollar Tree calendar from last year. I think, I can't remember which, I think is the farmhouse one. And I'm making a template of the circle here that I'm, that I'm using. So that way when I put it onto the actual Dollar Tree calendar, I can get it nice and um, centered. So that's a, a little quick tip for you. And I put it over the circle that I'm going to be using and I trim off the edges that I don't need. That way when I put it over the image um, that I wanna cut, it will be centered because you can see right through it. I'm using my art glitter glue and just put putting some on the edge and then center and then glue on the image. I wanted to give this little sign some more interest and I had this mini grape wreath vine, grape vine wreath, uh, how do you say that? And I glued that to the front of the sign. Cut the little hole on top of the, this little wood round that I had and just use my um, antique Waverly wax to um, cover it up. And again, place the magnet on the door, put the glue on the magnet and then add uh, the little sign to the magnet. And here I'm adding the little vine wreath. And there you go, another sign. You don't have to make something. Um, Walmart has a lot of little miniature um, ornaments. I got these from uh, last year or the year before. It comes in a pack of six. I just added a little bow over the hole so it didn't um, get, get in the way or hide the hole. And again, add the magnet and the more glue. <laughs> and just this, adding the magnet to the door itself, make sure that, that you have the sign and the in a good spot. Like I said, this is designing as I went. Um, I needed a place to put the little wreaths that, that weren't being used. Um, 
while well, on storage or whatever. And I had these two little six inch metal rulers that I had what, what, 10 years or so. And I didn't need them, so I just hot glued them to the back here. You could use anything metal. And then you can just stick your little wreaths and um, decorations onto it. Again, using the Dollar Tree um, calendar. I had this one inch um, round circles. I don't remember where I got them from. But this one, I, I didn't um, do the little template because they were small and it was easier to, um, to get close to the edge. So you, you can make, you know, different size to, um, decorations for your door and the sky's the limit. You can have, do printables if you want to. It, it's, it's up to you. Here I'm just playing around with some decorations that I had to, to see if they were small enough for this. And um, got this little tree in this little pot. I got these mini stack of pumpkins from Dollar Tree Pumpkins that I, I removed the stems from. So you, you can do, do whatever you want. And I end up painting that um, little bucket or planter black so because it, it, it stood out too much in white. I didn't want the back of this this little door thing to look so messy, so I decided to put a cover on it. Like I said, planning as I go. This was a this wasn't part of the plan, so I just go back to my basswood and cut the piece that fit inside there nicely, and then we'll go on to the next step. This panel is removable, so you'll be able to get to your little decorations in the back. So I needed a way to attach it to the back here. So I'm using Jenga blocks and again, some magnets. So you're gonna put the Jenga blocks on the side and you, you're gonna leave enough room between the back um, panel and the board that you're using to cover the back. Does that make sense? And room for the magnets. So if you want this flush, up against the the sides here like I am showing here you need enough room for the jingle block and the magnets to, to so I'm here testing it out making sure that I have enough space there you don't have to use magnets that's what I had you can put um, probably get a couple um, hinges from your home improvement store and put um, hinges on the side but since I had all these magnets I decided to use the magnets. If you're liking this content, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 5,000 by the end of October. And if you um, make this door, what kind of decorations would you put on it? Leave it in the comments below. Here's where I mean that you have an, leave enough space between the magnets and the Jenga block in order for it to be flush to the back. Again, I wasn't happy with the, um, the top exposed 
so you can see all the little decorations inside so i'm cutting another piece from my basswood to fit on top and that'll be glued to the um inside of the back door back door front door <laughs> you know what i mean i don't give sizes to these panels because depending on how big your door is, um, you'll cut the panels um, depending on that size. So if your door is wider, you need a wider panels, of course. So um, I'm just giving you an idea on what to do with these, um, this project. I was so overly excited to work on these little um, decorations that I forgot to hit record. So if you would like to see how I made this little welcome sign, this doormat, and these boxes, just hit, hit, comment below. Please show us some more. And now on to some railings. Because uh, I got the, I got a lot of these ideas from um, John C's chat um, pod, I guess you call it. The, 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 the uh, welcome mat sign I got from Jerry. From Polly Wants a Crafter, and I can't remember who someone. Uh, I think it was Mark Lindsay from Mark Lindsay CNC at, um, said to add some um, railings. So I hope I get those names right. But um, I'm just gonna add some railings here, and I'm cutting them down from li little popsicle sticks or wooden stir sticks. Uh, it's, it's a bunch of different um, um, pieces that I used. I believe I got these little sticks from um, Jerry from happy a happy hoarder like I've been saying this this is your design so dep depending on how you want the railing I did mine with um, three horizontal slats plus the top of course but um you can like, like I said you get crisscross it or whatever the sign you, you want for these railings or no reading at all working with wood glue and these little itty bitty things is to uh, glue it and let it go just uh, add more glue here but um, it needs to set up in, in order for you to continue to your next step so you don't want to work on it too early because everything will fall apart if it's not dry is really not to scale like a, a 1 to 12 or scale or anything like that because I just use the jingle blocks to guide my the size of my door so um, if you want it to scale then you have to you know measure and cut and be more specific so I, I don't put any sizes here for that reason because it's, it's really not to scale <laughs>
here I cut down some wooden stir sticks down to size and I'm gonna like I said put three horizontal here and with the wood glue you, you, you have enough time to make make sure that it that is lined up versus hot glue where you, where you set it and you, you have to pop it off if it's not straight so I always suggest wood glue on these projects Again, I'm using um, the black ink from Waverly, the ink. Um, but like I said, you can use any color you want. And what I'm gonna do for the like 4th of July, I'm gonna make some buntings to hang on these little railings. I also made a, a 4th of July um, sign for the front door. I used the Dollar Tree calendar as well. You'll see in, in the end um, the, different, um, I, the different images I used to make the wreaths. And I'm going to make some more just didn't have enough time for this um, video The railings were a little wobbly, so I'm cutting the, um, some quarter inch dowel, the square dowels down, and I'm going to be gluing that to the side of the railing, because I didn't want to put railing in the front, because since it's just a small um, area, I didn't want to close it off with, it, with more railing. So I just put this little piece on the corner, and it it's, um, made it more sturdy. possibilities are endless with this little door you can make all kinds of decorations for it and I'm I'm going to add lights to it but I didn't have any fairy lights to add to it so stay tuned for that as well so until next time be brave be strong and create something for your front door <laughs>